here for today's video, we will be reading Life at the Pond by B. Silverberg. Before we begin reading, let's go ahead and make a prediction. Use the title, Life at the Pond, the cover, and what you know about ponds to make a good prediction. All right, let's go ahead and start reading. Life at the Pond. The pond shines in the sun. The water is quiet. Many things live in the pond. So go ahead and take a moment and look at this photograph. What types of things live in a pond? What do you think? There are so many different things that live in a pond. Let's continue reading to see if any of those things that we were thinking of come up throughout the story. The pond is like a small world. It is home to many plants and fish. It is home to many reptiles and other animals. Again, what is this text feature? It's a photograph. Around the pond, ducks feed and play. They gobble tiny plants and dive to catch small fish. Mama duck watches her baby. Babies learn to swim. What fun. Is this an illustration or a photograph? It's a photograph taken with a camera. Big, big, and, big and small birds feed by the pond. Some of them snap up flying insects. The big blue heron spears a fish and gobbles it whole. How yummy. The top of the water is like a thin sheet. Insects skate, hop, and float on it. The water strider skates on long legs. The springtail hops across with its tail. Here we go. So do you see it, the insect right here? So these are different um, animals and insects that live on or in the pond or by the pond. <laughs> Whirligig beetles spin on the water. They have eyes on each side to look up and down. Lily pads with pretty flowers float on top. The roots and stems are under the water, way at the bottom. Let's see. So I don't see a whirligig beetle. Maybe you see it, but I do see, what is this? A lily pad. Frogs begin as tiny eggs in the water. The eggs become wiggly tadpoles and the tadpoles grow into frogs with legs. They jump in and out of the water looking for food. Is this another, um, is this another creature that lives in the pond? Mm hmm The bullfrog is one of the biggest frogs. He makes a big splash when he jumps in. He has a very loud croak that sounds like chug-a-rum, chug-a-rum. <laughs> do you see? So right here, is this, do you think this is a illustration or photograph? It's an actual photograph of a real bullfrog. What is that pile of sticks in the water? What do you think it is? Well, beavers have built a house for their family. So right here, when a beaver swims, it smacks water with its tail. Smack. So this is a beaver's home. Give me a thumbs up if you've ever seen one of this before. <laughs> I haven't, but I think it'd be really interesting. Turtles in the pond snap up little fish to eat. In winter, the turtles sleep down in the mud. When it gets warm, they sun themselves on a big log in the water. So right here, they're on a big log. They're getting some sun. Do you think they're enjoying the sun? I think they are too. Fish of many sizes and colors swim in the pond. They breathe under the water. Down in the mud, mama fish lays eggs. Later on, papa fish watches the babies. So take a moment and think of everything you've, um, everything we've read so far. Think to yourself, hmm, is that something new I learned? Or, hmm, that was a really interesting fact. So go ahead and take a moment and think of um, everything we've read and learned so far.
All right. The pond is a small world where birds and fish, bugs and turtles, and many plants all live together. What a fun world. All right, this is actually the last page, so I'm going to go back to the front of the book, and I would like to talk to you about different um, things that we've learned in this book. So, Life at the Pond. So, we read about insects, frogs, beavers, turtles, fish, and ducks. Was there one thing that you learned, something new that you learned from this book? I'm going to give you a moment to think about it. One thing, it could be about any of those um, things I just listed. All right, I hope you have, um, I hope you gave me a thumbs up for, yes, you learned one new thing. Okay, so I'll share what the thing, something I've learned. I learned about this. I learned um, that beavers have built a house for their family. So right here, I know that beavers use sticks to make, um, to make a home for their uh, family, but right here, this, I've never seen an actual picture of it. So right here, this is uh, me learning something, me actually seeing it for the first time in, through photograph. And um, I find that very interesting. So if you gave a thumbs up, yes, you learned something new about a frog or the beavers or a turtle. And then this story did what? It helped you learn. So what do you think the author's purpose is then? If you learn something from this book, something that was true, a fact. What do you think the author's purpose was? Was it P, to persuade you, to get you to try or do something? I, inform, you. the author's trying to teach you something, give you facts about a real um, topic? Or E, this book um, was just meant to entertain you, hoping you'll laugh and enjoy it. Okay, so go ahead and think about that. Um, on the next slide, you'll have the opportunity to talk with a classmate if you're at school. Or if you're at home, you can talk with a sibling, a doll, or stuffed animal about what you think the author's purpose was for writing this story. Okay? And one more thing before I um, we leave is, what is the one text feature that you noticed in this book? And I talked about it several times. And let's see, hopefully you can answer. It was a photograph. We didn't see any other text features other than photographs. Remember, a photograph is taken with a camera. Okay? So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud, Life at the Pond, and I hope you um, enjoyed looking at the different um, things that live in, at, or near a pond. And on the next slide, get ready to talk about author's purpose.